Okay, so here we are in a very busy um, uh, Serukunda Health Centre. I'm with one of my students, Malik, here, who's um, doing environmental health and, uh, and, and he's having to immunise the, uh, the young babies. So, um, with, can you, Malik, can you just tell me what you're going to immunise the children with today? Yeah, I am going to immunise uh, DPT. Okay. That is diphtheria papophis and danos. Right. And uh, OPV, that is polio, that one is oral. Oh. Oral, that one is oral. And hepatitis B. And hepatitis B, okay. Measles and yellow fever. Measles and yellow fever, so... That means that the child is going to be about four injections. Four injections for this child, okay. It's usually because the more that we refuse to come in those days in the past months. Yeah. So we have to do... Okay. Yeah. So we've got, we've got the... Um, the fresh needles here that we use a separate needle obviously each time and here are the, the, the different drugs which obviously um, Malik's fully aware of what to do. So we'll just start with the first one. So this one is yellow fever. This is the yellow fever. Measles, sorry, measles. Measles. <laughs> And this is the, the, the mother who's happily allowing us to film, so thank you very much. And her, and her lovely baby girl. Oh, well, well done, eh? So not too much crying there. That's yeah, I'm the yellow okay. fever. And this is the yellow fever. So it's a separate needle. Yeah. In a set, in a different arm. <laughs> poor, poor baby, so he's crying a little bit more now. I'm just going to stand away a little bit, give it a bit more respect. Okay, so there's the yellow fever. Okay, so we just did one more child now. Malik, if you just tell me what uh, what's on the list for this child. Yeah, this one is to take vitamin, vitamin A. Just vit vitamin A and it's taken orally, yeah? Orally, and mabendazole. Mabendazole is a, it's a tablet. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a tablet. For? For the, for the stomach. Okay. I'm the main pain. Okay, yeah. okay. We give it a more than one, the child has more than one year. Every time we give it. Okay. okay. So, so this is the uh, vitamin, vitamin, a. vitamin A. Just a little tablet that you okay. just cut in the top of. Okay. And then... Um, Again, I had a chat to the family and they're happy for me to uh, they're happy for me to film. So he's just taking his vitamin A. <laughs> a little bit stubborn. There we are, 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 there we are. There we are. Well done, well done. And that's for that's for the child as well, yeah? Okay. So he's, he doesn't like going to the doctors, you can see that. But he's all done, and he's very brave. Well done. Well done, well done. And as you can see, there's no time, and it's straight on to the next one. Okay, so we'll just do one more with Malik. What is this one? So. Okay. And I've had a chat to the mum again, and she's happy for me to. Uh, to film this, so I'm thanking her very much. There we are, very brave boy. Well done. And then an all uh, vitamin A again. Well done. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Huh? Thank you. Cheers. There he goes. Back uh, with his form. And as you can see, there's plenty more mothers here waiting um, for their children to be vaccinated. So we'll leave Malik to do his job and uh, and we'll uh, we'll carry on our day. Okay. This is a, a pregnant mother who's getting. I'll find out what she's been getting in a second. Uh, 
I don't. Malik, what was that for the pregnant pregnant mum? Tetanus. Okay. 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 Tetanus. Okay, well, thank you very much, Malik. We'll leave you in peace now and uh, get on with your very valuable job. And uh, yeah, thank you for letting us come and have a look at uh, how you're working in the practical, practical bit of the university course. Okay, thank you. So here we are at the University of Gambia. I'm here with uh, Jaja Tori, a student from um, from Armitage, uh, teaching at Armitage School, and now he's doing his uh, BSc in uh, in technical drawing. Um, so we'll just. Uh, have a look at some of the work that he's been doing over the last couple of uh, couple of weeks, and uh, I'll let him explain um, his course and exactly uh, exactly what he's uh, what he's been doing. So I'll pass you over to. Hello, Jaja. How is Hi. it? How are you? Yeah, yeah, very good, very good. Okay. Um, my name is Jaja Ture, and as he has been saying, um, I'm doing the PCBD program. That is bachelor's in community building and design. That is the, in the name of the talk show, Bachelor's in Community Building and Design. So it's all about going out to the community, get information from them, concerning the structures. As you can see, this, uh, the typical sample is here. This was the site we were studying. This was the site we were studying in Old Jewish. Now, you can see the low rise buildings. These are all the building structures within the area. See these other ones, they are low rise, and these other ones are high rise. That is, these ones are story buildings, and these are ordinary ones. Yeah. Now, the course entails us to go into the community, look at the way they are designed. That is the pressure. Now, we ask them about the past, compare the past to present, so that we can have a model for the future. Yeah. So that when we are designing for the future, we know what to design, what to go in for. Um, uh, taking information from the present and the past will help us develop the future. That is all about the course. Okay. And uh, it's, uh, it, as you can see, even on the board here, we have some pictures. These are some of the buildings which were erected long years ago. And now they are in the mood of Collapse in total. Some part of it is been collapsed. We took a, a typical example of this. As you can see on the drawing here, part of it is has been has already collapsed. Now, what is the cause of the collapse of this building? Yeah. What it entails, we have to go out to the community, find out. It's not only looking at the building and coming up with solutions, but we have to have a Owner of the land, why the building has collapsed, and they will give us the reason. And one of the reasons why what they gave us here is it is aging. It has been there for more than 25 years. So you can see an old building, and the material we used for building was more not cement. So you can see this is another disadvantage. So when we are building the future, we will know what to do. Comparing the past, the present, and the future. Okay. And you can see all the structures here now are, are using cement <laughs> yeah. instead of mud. The mud was the past. Now they are using cement yeah. as the present. But in future, what can be designed to make it better, last longer than the cement? So that is all about the Oh, well, thank you very much. Going back to the and get it yeah. For yeah. yeah. So, so Jaja, you're in you're in uh, the second week now of your of your three year course. Oh, so uh, third week, third week. So uh, this is his first project, yes. and uh, we look forward to coming back to uh, you know next year to see uh, to see you know you in in uh, in year in year two of, of three, and then obviously um, year three, and then back to Armitage to, yes. to carry on to carry on. Uh, um, teaching and Armitage and, and teaching future students, uh, you know this this technical drawing and uh, and uh, building design. So uh, thank you very much for uh, for showing us what you've been doing. Cheers. You're welcome. Okay. Nice meeting you. Thank you for everything. Okay. Thank you, Jaja. Right. 